So is this the future of manufacturing here in China? And will we all one day have a 3D printer at home? What could we use it to make? We decided to see for ourselves. This full body scan takes a couple of minutes. It's the first one that I've ever endured and I'm not supposed to move. Once upon a time, you'd take your camera film to a shop to get the photos developed. Now you can print your own creations in three dimensions. Beijing Suntop takes groundbreaking techniques from manufacturing and makes them accessible to the public. Okay, so I've just been scanned in 360 with what looks like a, a giant flashing iron. And um, now, as you can see, my body has appeared on the screen. Last year, Beijing Suntop launched their website, 3drp.cn. It's a platform that allows users to upload their own 3D designs and sell them to others. Stratasys is the leading maker of fused deposition modeling printers. An unsexy name for a machine that uses heat and plastic or wax, laying down layer upon layer and bonding them together to turn a computer-generated drawing into a physical object. Systems cost about 15,000 US dollars. It's a relatively cheap form of 3D printing and the end product is affordable, ideal for prototyping. The process can put out components with complex inner structures that work as well as machine-made parts. And 3D printing offers a shorter production cycle, higher quality and less energy waste. This shift to digitized manufacturing is transforming the way goods are made. China is the world's largest manufacturer, with the US coming in in second place. And some analysts have warned that China is in danger of losing its crown because of 3D printing, a technology that's relatively new here, whereas it's well established in the West. It's for that reason that the Chinese government has pledged to invest more money in research and development of homegrown 3D printing technology to boost its manufacturing sector. Chinese researchers first ventured into the field in the late 1990s, more than a decade later than their American counterparts. At the moment, China has less than 9% of the world's 3D printers, whereas the US has closer to 40%. China might not have been an early pioneer in this field, but it certainly isn't complacent. The Asian Manufacturing Association joined with leading Chinese sci-tech universities and enterprises to form a new alliance dedicated to the domestic development of 3D printing. Global industry output from 3D printing is an estimated 150 billion US dollars per year. In China, though, it's worth around 30 billion RMB, or just less than 5 billion dollars. But, Mr. Luo says, the technology has huge momentum behind it. Recognize this little guy? He's Woody from Toy Story. But of course, 3D printing is about much more than toys and figurines. It has the potential to revolutionize established industries, like the automotive sector making parts for cars or even for airplanes. And of course, healthcare with custom made prosthetic limbs or maybe even organs. And it doesn't stop there. 3D printing is fast becoming indispensable to the world of medicine. We may soon be able to print custom-fit organs using embryonic human stem cells to build tissue. And we're already using the technology to make new bones. 
，嗯，现在屏幕上的这个模型是前段时间西安一家医院提供给我们的一个患者的脊柱骨，然后我们通过这个模型做出了一个微缩的脊柱模型，然后医生就可以通过这个模型很好的找到呃手术的一些方，就是分析它的案，分析它的病情，然后找到一个合理的正确的手术方案。From vertebrae to chocolate to musical instruments, 3D printing seems to have endless applications. It could soon be shaping all of our lives, supplying exactly what we need, when we need it.